What possible innocent story could explain away the stack of evidence British prosecutors have amassed against Ruslan Borshirov and Alexander Petrov? Apparently, tourism, the pair are told the Kremlin-linked network RT. Our friends have asked us for a while to visit this beautiful city, said Petrov of Salisbury. Its cathedral is famous for its 123-meter spire and its clock, added Borshirov, as if quoting from Wikipedia. The pair flew from Moscow to London on March the 2nd and back on the 4th. Their explanation for two quick day trips to Salisbury, the weather was cold and snowy, so they returned to sightsee the next day. When prosecutors allege the pair smeared the Skripal's door handle with the nerve agent Novichok. On social media, their explanation has been ridiculed. In Britain, some noted the cathedral is close to the train station, nowhere near the Skripal's home where the pair was spotted. I don't think any of their interview is plausible. Um, I've watched it a couple of times now, uh, and I think uh, you know, if I was their defense lawyer, my advice to them would be. Uh, keep quiet uh, and wait to a trial when your alibi will be tested by our evidence. Former Duma deputy Gennady Gudkov, a Putin opponent, says it was a typically staged managed Kremlin production. We knew nothing of this interview about, them, uh, the, their, uh, about these people. Maybe they are not Petrovs and Bashirovs at all. On Russian state TV, predictably the appearance was judged a success. Today's interview didn't look like something the two men wanted to do, but in comments at a news conference yesterday, it sounded like Vladimir Putin was ordering them to come forward and declare their innocence, which they did, no matter how credible their story. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.